I'm a God and God of a Father, God alone, kindness of Him, you know, and my, and my poor soul, just thirsty, hungry, and yearning to return to you, help me repent completely for all my sins and transgressions, those who come to be cleansed, cleansed and purified, and purified to help from heaven, let me be one of them, and you yourself assist me in purifying myself from my sins, so that I would be able to come for perfect truth for, for all of them. Oh, you love and God, have compassion on me, and see my wretchedness and degradation, was it from this few that I lie, from all that you created me? I feel I'm hardly worthy of being called a person at all, as if I have no real existence in this world. It would have been better for me not to have been created in the first place, considering all the wrong I've done. I've come before you now. I shall to plead with you to help me through the power of your great Namekia, I will be. To which you revealed yourself when, the, when you began to redeem your children from Egypt. You wanted to make them your people and remove them from the pollution of Egypt. You said to Moshe at the burning bush, Tell this to the children of Israel, Echia sent, sent me to you through the power of this holy name. Help me make a whole new start to prepare myself to be in this world, oh, to exist and live as the person you intended me to be through turning to you in sincere, genuine tshuva. Help me feel the pain of my many sins and transgressions and to come to perfect tshuva. Help me feel the pain of many sins, my many sins and transgressions to come to perfect tshuva. Help me bear shame and embarrassment without throwing insults back in return. Even if I hear myself, myself abused, let me not reply to those who curse me. Let my soul be silent, no matter how other people may abuse and insult me. Let me hold my peace and say nothing. Let me silently wait for Hashem and hope in Him. And let me be like a man that does not hear and has no complaint, com complaints on his lips. I will be like a deaf person. I will not hear. I will be like a dumb person. I will not open his mouth. Hashem, I know the truth. All the insults in the world would not be enough to cleanse me, considering the weights of all my sins. Is it possible to express in words how degraded I have to come through my own choices and actions? My sins have cast a stain on your great glory. I have dishonored your holy name, and I have mightily, mightily abused my own soul through my sins. Oh, I have given power to the blood in the left side of the heart, which has strengthened my evil inclination to make up for all this. I must simply bear even the worst insults and persecutions. So, Hashem, when people abuse and insult me, help me bear it in silence, in order that this should be my atonement, uh, should be my atonement for all my sins. Hashem, my God, in my heart of hearts, I know that I am very far from genuine tshuva. My sins have gone over my head. They have left me in such a state of mental confusion that I really have no idea how to come back to you. Oh, my good sense and intelligence have left me, and I feel as if I have no heart. I go around like a vagrant, devoid of mind and heart. Hashem, you know my foolishness. How can I, I? I cannot conceal. I cannot conceal my guilt from you, Father, loving Father. What should I do? Where should I run for help? What possible remedy or strategy? A strategy. Or or, or, or strategy can I find to save my soul with possible remedy? A strategy can I find to save my soul from destruction? I lift from my eyes to the mountains. From where will my help come? Help me! Help me! Help me, help me, please, please be kind to me, show me your love and mercy, save me, shine upon me from your holy habitation and cause the spirit of wisdom and understanding, holiness and purity to rest upon me so that I will be able to genuinely sanctify and purify myself, come back to you in perfect tshuva, let me hold my peace, say nothing to those who abuse and insult my soul, let me silently wait for Hashem and hope in Him bearing all degradation and persecution with love as an atonement for my sins, master of the universe through your holy sages of blessed memory, you have given us a distant hint of the exiled holiness, of, of the exalted holiness of the Jewish people, every single Jew is a crown to the Holy One, blessed be here, therefore what? To ask you to help me, to ask you, to ask you, oh, to help, to help me to always try to search for all the good points that are to be found in every Jew, to judge everyone favorably, even when people are against me and abuse and insult me. Let me hold and abuse and insult me, let me hold my peace and say nothing, even in my heart, let me feel my hatred or anger, even in my heart, let me feel my hatred or anger and stride. Instead, let me judge them favorably and assume that their intentions are pure. Give me to understand that according to their way of looking at things, they are, con they are convinced that they are doing the right thing by insulting me. Indeed, I know that all the abuse in the world would still be less than I deserve, seeing that I have sinned so much. If, I'm, if I am a member of the Holy Jewish people, each one, of, each one of whom is a crown of the king, how could I have taken so little care not to... Not to demean the honor of the king to the wrong I've done, and surely deserve every kind of abuse, since those who show contempt for me will be despised. In that case, how can I be angry with those who insult me? How can I hold it against them, considering I deserve everything I get and more? How can I take them to task for not treating me with sufficient respect? 
And every single one of them is precious. It's a precious crown of Hashem. So please, Hashem, help me keep quiet and hold my peace of everything with love. And for this, bring me the perfect tribute with the, which is bound up with the holy name of Ekki, the crown. As the sages have taught us, Mother, Father, Mother, Father, Mother, Father, Mother, 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 who can say, I have cleansed my heart and purified myself of sin. You know our hearts and how we often oh, we have mixed and, impu- mixed and impure motives for even the good that we do. Even when I'm confessing my sins, I have improper thoughts and motives. I find it impossible to say even a single word, sincerely and honestly. My sins are real, uh, are real enough, but I have a block against owning up to them. Oh, so please, I will come for, to keep going forward in the, on the path of Chuban, to repent over my repentance, and to repent over my repentance, to make amends for the inadequacy of my earlier Chuba. This way, with your help, I will eventually be able to attain the highest level of Chuba. You will open my heart and mind to know your name. You will open my heart and mind to know your name, and I will then attain such a level of spiritual perfection that I, that I will understand that I have not even begun to repent. Is that in, as yet in a way that is commensurate, commensurate with your awesome greatness and exaltment? You will then help me repent genuinely over my early repentance, which, <clears throat> with each new and higher perception of your exaltness, I will repent over the limitations of my early perceptions. I am for having allowed material images to influence the way I conceive of you. I am for having allowed material images to influence the way I conceive of you, detracting from the supreme exaltness of your divinity. I will keep going forward on the path of truth every day of my life until the day when you will finally take my soul and bring me to the world of come to, of the, to the world to come the day that is as Shabbos al help me slaughter help me to slaughter help me to slaughter my evil urge and thereby give uh, you honor in two worlds this world and the world to come as it is written the one who slaughters the evil urge and offers the thanksgiving offering will give me honor help me run away from honor let me minimize my own importance while doing help me run away from honor let me minimize my own importance while doing everything I can to enhance the glory of God while doing everything I can to enhance the glory of God while doing everything I can to enhance the glory of God, grant me a share in your great glory and love and bring me to experience the glory of God and its own holy glory for your sake alone. Let me never make use of your glory for my own personal advantage, but only for the sake of your name and in your service. And let no one feel the need only to raise questions about my reputation and honor. Hashem, help me be firm, strong, and determined in your service at all times. Don't let me I, I ever fall away, God forbid. Don't throw me down from before you and don't. And do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Uh, bring me to be one of those who is uh, always coming in and going out. Bring me to be one of those who is always coming in and going out of the palace of the king, constantly striving to achieve ever greater, ever greater, ever greater intimacy. Uh, teach me how to run forward to new, to new spiritual lights and then return and integrate the perceptions and, and insights I've gained into my life as a whole. Help me develop the skills I need during all the different phases of my spiritual life, both when I am making progress and when I'm, and I find myself regressing. Let me be expert uh, at re- running forward and expert at returning, expert when coming in and expert when going out. Let me be able to find you everywhere, whether I go up or down. As it is written, if I go up to heaven, there you are. And even if I make my bed in hell, Oh, there you are. Let me constantly reach out for connection with you so that I will be able to say, I am my beloved. And my beloved is my Please, Hashem, have compassion on me and remember me for good. Don't abandon me. Don't abandon me. Don't abandon me. Have compassion on me. Have compassion on me. And remember me. Have compassion on me. Have compassion on me and remember me for good. Don't abandon me. And do not let me. And don't let, do not leave me to sink. Oh, I am become trapped in the lowly, degraded situations I have been caught up until now. I have been caught in until now. Don't forsake me, Hashem, my God. And don't keep far from me. Don't let me be swallowed up in the depths. And don't let me, and don't let the pit shut its mouth over me. Be kind to me and lift me out of the dust. Help me rise from my degraded state. Be with me just as you promised you would be with Yaakov. I will go down with you uh, just as you promised you would be uh, with Yaakov. Uh, just as you promised you would be with Yaakov. I will go down with you to Egypt and I will surely bring you up. It is true that I have fallen, but I ask you, but I ask you, but I ask you to let me to let my fall be a preparation for a great descent. Have pity on me. Send me your help and take hold of me with your loving hand of mercy. Support me tenderly and lovingly and always be with me. Give me the strength and good sense to hold on to you at all times and ever, ever let me fall. Give me the strength and good sense. Let me the strength and good sense to hold on to you at all times and ever, ever let me fall. It is written, even if, even if he falls, he will not be cast aside because Hashem is supporting him by the hand. Feel this in me. Grant me spiritual freedom very soon. Grant me spiritual freedom very soon.
from today on, at least from the vicious cycle of backsliding to failure, I have become, I have been so, I have been caught in so far. Help me overcome the sense of distance, or the sense of distance from you that I have had until now. You lift the poor out of the dust and the needy from the scrape head, from the, scra- from the, from the scrap. And the scrap heap, I am poor and needy, 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 I am poor and needy. I am poor and needy, take pity on me, be kind to me, lift me up, my hands are raised to you, from the ends of the earth I call to you, I am heart is fainting, bring me up to a rock which is too high for me, master of the universe, master of the universe, my father in heaven, take pity on me, drive away all those who are persecuting me, pushing me down, call a halt to my troubles, say so far and no further, from now on help me, and start to lift me up, level by level, 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 quickly and easily, quickly and easily, turn all my physical failures into successes if my relationship with you until now has been, when I'm dis- Distance and alienation that you transfer from now on into one of closeness and intimacy and your compassion. You have made us, uh, you, you have made us start in drawing us close to you to the truth of the You have sent us in each generation. Or you have begun to shine the light of your holiness and love upon us. You have begun to shine the light of your holiness and love upon us. Hashem, it would not be fitting for you to abandon us now. You began showing us your greatness or your goodness when you gave us your holy Torah through Moshe. You hope for your faith upon Prophet in each generation, you have love in these centers. Oh, all the speaking who have transmitted the Torah uh, to us from Moshe to Yeshua, from Yeshua to the elders, and from them to the subsequent elders and speaking in every generation. Until the chain of Torah tradition has now reached us. Uh, your love for us has still not ceased to flow. I awaken and I, and I am still with you, just as you have always helped us until now. Stir up your compassion yet again and help me fulfill the entire Torah in love. And help me fulfill the entire turn in love. Take pity on me and help me. Take pity on me and help me. Remain attached to you and to the two tzaddikim forever. I'm five now. I'm six now. I'm nine now. I'm seven now. I'm eight now. I'm seven now. I'm nine now. I'm ten now. I'm eleven now. I'm twelve now. I'm thirteen now. I'm fourteen now. I'm fifteen now. I'm sixteen now. I'm seventeen now. I'm eighteen now. I'm nineteen now. My heart and, and my ears, my eyes, I love and help me open my eyes, my heart and my ears to see, understand and hear your greatness and exaltedness and to return you in complete sincerity and truth, grant me knowledge, understanding and wisdom, to understand and guess the ways of Chuba, help me to follow them at all times and let me be a true about you, a master of repentance, for your right hand is help, oh, if, if your right hand is help, oh, 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 if your right hand is held, open to, to receive those who return, and you want Chuba, oh, and you want Chuba, if not now, when and help me come to perfect Shuva on the highest level so that through my efforts to make amends and repair what I must, the lowest point and highest points of creation will be united and the supernal man I will be seated upon the throne let my nefesh ruach and the shaman be merged in the exalted place or oh, in, that, in that exalted place from now on and forever. Restore the moon and fill its dark portions with light. Let the light of the moon be like the light of the sun and let the light of the sun be sevenfold. Like the, se- like the light of the seven days of creation for your kingship governs everything in heaven and on, and on earth. Your miracles and wonders are unfathomable. You work, you work and make, you work out ways to make sure that no one should be cast aside. You cause death and bring to life. You take souls down to hell and you bring them up. You have the power to connect, bind, and unify complete, complete opposites. You have the power, you have the power, you have the power to connect, bind, and unify complete opposites from the lowest depths of hell to the supreme, most exalted heights, from the lowest point to the highest four. Who will tell you what to do if so? Let your tender mercy reach you of me, God, who takes pity on the poor, and hears the cry of the needy. Forge your channel from beneath your throne of glory down to me, and help me stir and wake up and return to you in perpetua. Help me genuinely attach to the truth of the from now on and forever. If you do not wish for the death of the sinner, that he should turn from his ways and live, you grind man down to dust and say, Return, sons of man, return to Shem until when? Until when, we let of your servants uh, bring us back to you, Hashem, and we will return anew our days of old, as of old, as of old. Master of the universe, help me to follow the path of perfect truth at all times, and especially during the holy days of Elul, during this period. Teach Moshe, oh, you open up a path of tshuva for us, consisting of the two skills of running and returning, based upon the two holy names of Avaya and in its, in, its, in its expansion of Sag and Ekya and its expansion of Kasu, and upon the two holy points, the uppermost and the lowest, and the lowest. This is the central path of tshuva, path of tshuva, the initial tshuva, and then tshuva on the tshuva, respectively, the tshuva of this world and the tshuva of the world to come during the days. The holy days of Elul will help me to attain perfect tshuva, and let the holiness of Elul be drawn into the entire year until we are able to follow the path. 
have perfect tshuva at all times, and to walk all the pathways of tshuva perfectly all our days and forever. In your abundant kindness and mercy, in your abundant kindness and mercy, in your abundant kindness and mercy, in your abundant kindness and mercy. In your abundant kindness and mercy, accept all the different aspects and levels of our tshuva with love and favor and enable us to search and examine our ways in return and rise towards Hashem. Always oh, search and examine our ways and enable us to search and examine our ways in return and rise towards Hashem. Your right hands stretch out to receive those who wish to return. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the main theme, tshuva, humility, bearing insults. Tshuva, humility, bearing insults. Oh, finding God in all situations of answering love with the love of spiritual perception. Attached with the Siddiq of the month of Abu. The main theme of this prayer is tshuva, repentance. Our own pride must stand. We stand in the way of our apprehension of our apprehension. Our, mo- our own pride must stand in the way of our apprehension of God. To experience God's glory, we must stop pursuing honor and esteem for ourselves and strive only to enhance God's glory. The essence of tshuva is to accept insults and indignities and silence as an atonement for our sins. Tshuva is not a single event but a continuing pathway. Even after being, beginning tshuva, our, our conception of God may still be influenced by materialistic images. As our perception develops, we must repent for our for the inadequacies of our earlier repentance. Spiritual life has many ups and downs. In order to be able to follow the path of tshuva steadily at all times, two skills are necessary. The, the ability to maintain our balance even at moments of intense enthusiasm, enthusiasm and the, the, determination, the, the determination to continue with our efforts even if we experience failure and rejection. This way we can find God in all situations, good or bad, thereby, thereby affirming the perfect unity that underlies everything in the creation. Thereby affirming the perfect unity that underlies everything in the creation. Thereby affirming the perfect unity that underlies everything in the creation from the highest of lowest, the highest of, from the highest of levels down to the lowest. <laughs> Na 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 na